Hello, David from Premier Roofing and Carpentry. This is Joel from JND SEO. Spoke briefly on the phone today. I told you I'd send this video over. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. I don't want to waste your time, David. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear more information, we'll just set up a 10 minute phone call. And if not, take the free tips and strategies that I'm going to give you today and you can actually apply them right to your site. First thing I'd love to talk about today would be content. So as I'm scrolling through, you know, you guys do have a good amount of content on here. Um, you know, you probably have, I'm going to say, you might have, you might have between six, 700 words of content on here. I typically do recommend having about 1500. Um, the reason why is because there's a lot of companies adding, adding more content these days. But content is one of the reasons that one of the things Google will use to rank your site and to make it more powerful. And to be honest with you, about 99.9% .9 of companies do not have 1500 words. So that alone would actually help you to rank above them and make you stronger. But the other probably an even more important reason that we want that much content is if we put in the more content we have, the more keywords we can actually put into that content. So I put in just roofing Orlando FL here as an example. And um, this is actually what a new customer would put into a, uh, you know, a Google search if they were, if they were looking for services in the area. First thing you're going to find with any Google search is ads. Everyone kind of knows about them. Companies are just basically paying to be seen first. Next, you're going to find this map section. Top three companies show up here based on citations. That's just when you get your business name and address listed into a directory site. These are sites like Yelp, Home Advisor, Yellow Pages, just to name a few. Next up, we're going to get into that organic section. You're going to have 10 results that show up per page here. And these don't show up randomly. They're all based on Google's formula or algorithm. And we know two parts of that are content and keywords. Also, another part of that is the uh, citations as well. So if we could, these actually do also show up in reference, of course, to our phrase, our key phrase. So we could actually rank this keyword based on that. So number one would go to Home Advisor, which is a directory. Two, Better Business Bureau, which is also a directory. And three would go to Roofing Adv Advantage, which is a company. I'm going to actually jump over here to a program I use called Eris. All right, so I went ahead and took your website, uh, prcroofservices.com, and I put it into a program that I use called Erifs. And I do see you guys just have the word home on the top of your page as a header. This is a little bit of an opportunity where you could actually put either your business name or you, you could also put in some keywords. You could actually put in both. And this will help you be found by Google a little bit easier. If you think of the internet as just kind of a popularity contest, whoever has the most votes is going to get the most attention. So right now I'm just kind of looking over here. For websites, we obviously want visitors and views. So right now we're seeing 19 referring domains. These are just websites online that you guys have links on. So of the 19 different sites that you have, they're actually sending you back 113 links to your page. 103 keywords or uh, keyword phrases are what we're finding right now that you guys do have on your site. These are really what drive the traffic to your site and we're seeing that your 103 right now are bringing about 10 to your site per month. These are 10 visitors to your site. So you're probably thinking if we have 100, why do I only have 10? And that's a really good question. I actually want to check that out myself. So let's take a look at the keywords and we can actually find out why that is. First thing we find, Premier Roofing Orlando. It's a good one, it's got your name in it and a location. 50 people do search it just like that. And you are in number the number three position. If you remember we talked about the top 10 will make the first page. Number three is a good place to be. People who do search you by name or part of your name, they know who you are. Some of that's gonna be repeat referrals. Some of that's gonna be people who saw your signs probably out front. Maybe a neighbor even told them who did the roof but didn't give them all the contact info. So that's a good thing, um, but you also wanna bring in new customers, right? So. That's where things like, let's let me find a good one here. Roofing Orlando would be a good one. It's got a specific location. 150 people do search that. Unfortunately, what we're seeing is that you guys are ranked number 42, which that's going to put us on the top of the fifth page. And we found out that 80 to 85% of people don't even go to page two. So if that happens, right, you can imagine how many people go to page five. And the answer is almost none. Um, so really, we got to be in the top 10 for all of these really good keywords that we want to be in for. 
Uh, another good one, roof replacement, Orlando, 150, 35. You can see the volumes there, right? 150, 150. Even if you were top three, you wouldn't get all of it, but you would probably get about a third of it or maybe, maybe uh, you know, a little bit less than that, a fifth or a third of it or so. So that's really good. We do have a bunch in here that probably could be a little more specific. Uh, but just as a quick comparison, let's go over to Advantage Roofing. I want to show you what another kind of example is. Again, 135 referring domains, over 2,000 links back to their page. 313 keywords bring in 848 visitors to their site per month. Imagine the calls on that and the estimates that would turn into jobs, right? They do have their business name up here, Roofing Company Orlando, Orlando Roofing Company, and some keywords. Let's take a look at their keywords and let's get a look at where their traffic's coming from. First up, we see Roofing Orlando. That's a good one here. 150 people do search it every month. Number one, Orlando Roofing, 200. Number two, Commercial Roofing Services. Not a great one just because it doesn't have a location on it. Um, it's a national term, so it could be from anywhere. But re Roofing Repair Orlando, that's what you want. You know, you want people that are looking in your area. 250. Number five, Roofing Contractors Orlando FL, 150. Number three. So you guys see the theme here. They're in the top 10 for all of these. And for a lot of them, they're actually even in the top five, which is just going to bring you even more visitors. All right, so that was just a little bit, David, about uh, you know content backlink citations. You guys are doing a pretty good job with the amount of content, but we definitely want to increase the keywords and get you ranking higher on a few of those. Also, a few of those we could probably fine-tune and get a little more specific and get stronger ones, and that would definitely help you easily double the amount of visitors that you currently are getting to your site and essentially give you a second stream of income there. All right, so like I said, 10 minutes on the phone if you guys want to hear a little more information. If not, take the tips I gave you. Thank you for watching. Only thing I will ask is I'm just going to give you a call in a day or two. I just want to ask what you thought of the video. I'm looking to improve a little bit myself as well. Thank you guys very much. I do appreciate your time. Have a great day.